Yes, there's a very beautiful actress. Uh, she stars in uh, The Big Bang Theory, which is Thursdays at 8 on CBS. <laughs> Please welcome the very lovely Melissa Roush, everybody. Melissa Roush. Sorry about when you were here before and then we talked too long. You were meant to be here the same night as Jeff Bridges and then he... No problem at all. I'm uh, glad I'm to really, be here. I'm really, I very much your pardon to beg. Oh, Do you look nice? Oh, look. Thank you. Uh, hang my on a second. Wait, I got something for you. Oh, oh a present we, uh, already. I'm yeah, very excited. Yeah, we keep excited. this. Hold on. Uh, mm. We got it. Yeah. I keep this in case oh. Tom Cruise is ever on. Hold on. <laughs> You know, I would have worn a skirt because I was worried that I was going to show my business hey! if I wore a skirt. But if I knew you had a stool, then well, I would have done a skirt. You want to go change? Can I? Do I have time? Sure. Right. No, right. no, no. You better okay. just stay here. I'll it's all right. Listen, so congratulations nice. on the Big Bang Theory job. Thank That's fantastic. You. Thank you. I'm so excited. It's, it's a great show. So fun. So it's fun. got the, uh, are you a science person yourself? Are you I a am so far from a science person. I think there are so many people, like my um, high school science teachers mm -hmm. who are watching me play a microbiologist that it's like, bull crap. <laughs> I see you've been trained by the CBS executives. <laughs> Myself, you I were going to say, what's that coming ago? Where are I, you? Can I say it? You cannot okay, say it. But you can say it. No, I cannot say it either, but I care less about okay. keeping my job probably than you yeah, do. That's probably true. Well, what do you do? Do you, do, you, mm. do you like to go scuba diving with Jeff Bridges? I, I would love to. I know, could you hook it up for me? Could I? I don't know, man. If I can get any contacts to go scuba diving with Jeff Bridges, then I'm going, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jeff Bridges scuba diving with the dude? Are you that kidding me? Amazing. That would be awesome. That would be amazing. I know. But I mean, could you go scuba diving? I don't do that. Oh. No. So I'll, I'll, I'll be good. I don't know how he's going to manage. <laughs> so what do you do then if you don't go scuba diving? Um, do you enjoy the uh, surfing? I've never been surfing. I would it's love easy, to try surfing. Easy. I hear because I'm short yeah. that I would have a good center of gravity and I would be good at it. So I'm going to keep it at that. Are you? That I, I never know. I never noticed. Are you, are you short? Re really? I, I didn't notice. I didn't oh. think you were particularly short. Well, thank you. It's the big heels. I'm under five feet. Are you really? I am. How adorable. <laughs> thank you. Are you self-conscious about it at all? I used to be. As a kid, my mom used to tell me when I was a kid, because kids used to call me short. Oh. So she told me to fend off them making fun of me that I should tell a story that I was playing hide-and-go-seek with my brother, and I hid in the dryer, and I shrunk. That would freak out the kids, yes. though, right? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that'd freak Thank them out you. more than a talking chair. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Yeah. Kids don't understand that I no, was like, like the weird kid who got shrunk in a dryer. <laughs> you know the weird. Where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. Well, the, a lot of people there are under five foot. <laughs> well, the Snooky there. Exactly. What, what? Exactly. Why is the Snooky? She must be about what? Four? I think we're probably the same. I got out before I turned into her. <laughs> I think. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. I'm like I'm a. I'm a bottle of hair dye and a spray tan away from becoming her. Well, so am I. <laughs> Maybe in the other direction. No, I. Uh, you're, you're from the same part of the country? Then? Yeah. But about that's it. not typical, that, that Jersey Shore thing. There's it's plenty of people really. there who are not like that. That's true. I mean, I was kind of. This really? is a reformed Jersey girl. I was kind of. You I wore a lot of sparkly Jersey. clothes? I did. I had the accent. Really? Mm -hmm. And you were drunk and promiscuous? In the bad part, not so much. Okay. <laughs> you said no. <laughs> you said no, which leads me to believe, yeah. Exactly. No. Like a so, but your accent doesn't sound very uh, Jersey. I, I took a long time to get rid of it. I used to be like, mall and sock and coffee. <laughs> That's adorable. Thanks. I <laughs> That's really very nice. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you I, I used to have an accent too. Cleared right up. Oh, yeah. I don't hear anything. <laughs> did you uh, Did you take voice lessons to get? You know, I went to my first acting class, and my teacher was like, "Oh, that is hard." I was doing Shakespeare with a New Jersey accent. <laughs> that would be great. Hey, Romeo, where are you at? Exactly. Yeah. That would be 
be great. Maybe I should do a play yeah. like that because they were like, oh, this is horrible. Well, you see, now I think that's wrong because I think that to do Shakespeare in accessible modern accents is a very you, you go and see the really brainy uh -huh. um, English theatres, they do it in local dialects. They do oh, it like that. Really? Yes, they, they experiment and try stuff out. It's a very mm. good idea, I think. Yeah, right. you know, I say my liege, <laughs> all that stuff. Ay, caramba. You know what I mean, huh? So it should be like, I sang my liege. Yes. Yeah. All right. Be awesome. <laughs> I don't know if Shakespeare has uh, anyone ever says, I say my liege in any play. That shows how much I know. I was jumping on board. Like, really? Oh, Shakespeare line. No, no, I think that's good. I, I, I would love to see Shakespeare done in, in Jerry. Like, you see Romeo and Juliet, I think? Mm -hmm. That'd be perfect. You're right. I'm going to call up Snooki. Maybe we could do a Jersey Shakespeare play together. No, here's where you lose me. Okay. Because... <laughs> No, 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 you, you, you had me right up to the point. You see, maybe not Snooky, maybe you play mm -hmm. Juliet. Maybe okay. Snooky isn't in the play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Will you do it with me? No, I can't do it. Oh. I can't act. Mm -hmm. Buy that. Well, if I could act, I wouldn't be doing this. Tootsie Fruitsie. I'd be, I'd be out there having some fun, putting on wigs, dressing like a lady. <laughs> Scuba diving That's acting for me. <laughs> That's the only acting I'm interested in. But no wigs, dressed like a lady. Woohoo! Where you at, Romeo? <laughs> <sighs> so you live out here now, then? I do live out here. I moved yeah. here about five years ago. How are you doing with that? You driving yet? That's good. It took me a while. Yeah. It t I know what I also didn't realize. Again, the height thing. I had to buy a little booster seat for my car. <laughs> I'm gonna not tell that story. No, it's all right. It's, all right. <laughs> it's sad. No, I'm it's, gonna make a lifetime you, you, movie you, of my short saga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Oh, thanks. I come from a, a family of very short people. Well, so. that's good. So when you have to go and you know find the ring and work with Gandalf, you'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be good. It's true. It is true. My my husband's very tall, and I do feel like when he comes to my family's house, it's like he's coming to the Shire. Yeah. You know. Why well, is your husband? He's six one. Wow. Mm hmm Yeah. It's a big height difference. That's all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. It's it all gives right. our children a fighting chance. Yeah. You they'll know? be somewhere break, in the middle. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like a break out of the gene pool. It's not wrong with being short, you know. Thank you. Not wrong with I that. You know, that. some great people were short. Um, Name one. Uh, Napoleon. <laughs> Sure. Good man. Stalin. Very sure. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, uh, hang on, I'll find somebody Anyone good. Um, Napoleon, Stalin, and Snooky. There you are. There's there, three, right. three short people okay. who've done a lot of good things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Snooky's not that bad. N no. Napoleon and Stalin, maybe mm. a little. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they were shrunk in the dryer. <laughs> Why not? Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're out of time here. We are? Yeah, oh, sorry, this is Bella. great. Uh, thanks. <laughs> you know, I it's so refreshing. So many people come here and I, I don't get the feeling that they think it's great, but you did have a good I time. I did. You were so much fun. You really just made it very comfortable. For you know, first time. if I had a nickel for every time I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you fancy a mouth organ or an awkward pause? Hmm. Awkward pause. Oh, nice choice. Okay? All right. everybody remember Please welcome Melissa Roush, everybody. Melissa Roush. Well, Melissa, Hello. may I say, may I say how very attractive you look this wow. evening. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah. Really. There's a whole lot of 
Well done, Thank is you. what I'm saying. Thank you. Hey, the last time oh you were here, I got you that little stool out. Do you want it? Do you it? have it? I yeah, love yeah, it's, it. It's in here somewhere. Thank Hold you. On. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I'll come up there and smack you. <laughs> there you go. A little it's, stool. Australians, oh, this is a little stool we keep here in case Tom Cruise is ever on the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There you are. I will gladly there show you. There you go. Thank that. you. That's so much better. Yeah, no, it's nice. Thank and, you. I yeah. don't show my lady parts that way. <laughs> We don't have that kind of talk on this show, I'm Melissa. Sorry. We, I'm this is so a clean sorry. family show. You're absolutely right. I will keep my lady parts to myself. <laughs> I didn't say a thing, man. I, I like your shoes, purple thank shoes. Thank you. That's thank a risk, you. but it paid off. Is it? Did it pay off? Yeah, it sure? did pay off. Right. Yeah, your All feet right. look ecclesiastical. Oh, that's always what I go for. Really? Every morning I say, does that look ecclesiastical? Yeah. Done. Churchy like, feet, are they a very special designer shoe? Do you know, I didn't even check. Isn't I like, terrible? no, that's great. That I, no, it means you're not affected by Hollywood too oh, adversely. Okay. I'm not affected at all. Yes, you are, a little I'm, bit. A little I'm bit. absolutely affected. Well, the, the, you know, the, the Big Bang Theory is a huge hit. You must be uh, hugely wealthy now. <laughs> yes. do, you have a, do you have a helicopter or something? I, a helicopter took me here today. So that's and by a helicopter, I mean my Honda. <laughs> Can you say that? Yeah. 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 You can. Mm -hmm. That's nice. You you drive it yourself? I do. I do. I dr I drive it myself. I have a little booster seat, and that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you? Uh, where did you learn to drive? I learned to drive in New Jersey. Mm. I had a driving school teacher who smoked the entire time and yelled every turn I made. That's awesome. It was terrible. Every if you can drive under those conditions, right? you're ready for LA. It was a yeah. fantastic. <laughs> It was fantastic. Every time I took a turn, he would go, that's not it! That sounds fun. This is like a great show. It was pretty amazing, yeah. It's I still have post-traumatic stress syndrome. Every time I make a turn, I hear him in my head. They didn't make you take your test again when you moved to California? No. No, I had to do mine you again. Did. Yeah, when I came over from Scotland, they made me take my test again. But it's very easy, the driving test in L.A. It's like, drive around the block, don't shoot anybody. <laughs> there you are, well done. That's very much it. That's it. That's really, that's it, yeah. Have you ever shot anyone? Have I ever shot anyone? If I admit it here, mm. will I go to jail? Depends if it was in self-defense or not. Mm. It wasn't. It was just because I was getting crazy. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> getting a little crime spree exactly. going on. What are you doing then? What are you watching on TV? Do you watch your oh. own show a lot? I do. Um, I do. I, I watch our, our, our own show. Yeah, it's a great, um, show. great and, show. And um, I have a lot of guilty pleasures, but oh, no, what I was wait, watching. Wait, wait, wait. What did you mean? Tell me, tell me about the guilty pleasures. Uh, you see, I was trying to slide past them so you would think I was smart. No. Um, okay, I watch um, All the Real Housewives. Oh, yeah. I, I watched it for a bit, but I started to feel dirty. I, I, I mean, seriously, I was the Beverly Hills when I was, these people are just... Yeah, you need Mentally a shower. Ill. There's like, oh much. dear, this is hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, was, it was tough stuff, yeah. I have to say. But I do that. Jersey, the Real Housewives of Jersey, love. Um, I don't understand the accents. No? No, it's just. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I love how uh, they just tell it like, it, like Caroline on that show, she is not afraid to admit that she shaves her entire face. <laughs> I should watch this you show, should. actually. I, a woman who could admit that she shaves, shaves her entire face. I mean, I, I'm a dude and I don't even shave my entire face. Like, sure. these bits here, I never touch them. They're just like, they're bald all the time. I think. Do I have there, hair here? There's a little stubble. Really? A little stubble. I've got under eye stubble? Under eye stubble. Mm -hmm. That's a, I thought I had ear hairs growing on earlier, but I just got a haircut somewhere. Oh, okay. And, no, you're all yeah, good. Yeah. All good, except for the under eye stubble. No, yeah, that's all right. What else do you okay. watch? Do you watch uh, um, sports? I don't watch sports. Okay. Um, I do watch. Uh, over the break, I became obsessed with Downton Abbey. Oh, I've watched. I watched the whole first season of that. You did. What do you yeah. think? I thought it was excellent. It's. Hmm. <laughs> do you like it? You see, I sprinkled that in with like the Housewives and the Bachelor, just so I feel a little better about myself. Well, I watched the Downton Abbey, and I thought it was terrific for all you know. As I say, oh, how dare you? How dare you? Oh, would you like to have some? Oh, all that stuff, and then. That's the entire first season. That's pretty, yeah. Uh -huh. But then I watched the second season because I was in I was in Britain over the break. Oh, you I, got to see the second I season? I saw the second season. Oh, okay. Stop at the first one. Really? Oh, you just crushed my dream. Yes, I did. That's my job here. 
Yeah, yeah I kind of am the dream crusher. Oh, all right. What is your dream? What are, you, what are your ambitions? Do you want to... Are you married? Do you want to have children? Uh, um, my goodness. Um... Oh, no, I just, I get that from my mother a lot. Oh, sorry. Um, No, I am married. Um, I eventually, I want to have children. This is pretty much, I mean, right, sitting right here, this Mm -hmm. is kind of dream making. Wow. (laughs) Wow. I do. I I figure, I, this is. You can aim higher, really. No, no, no. This is it for me. I'm okay, done. Okay. I'm done. I'm hanging up my purple shoes. Maybe no, going on don't a ever do that. Spree, and then I'm done. No, no. Mm-hmm. But one day you'd like to have children, would you? I think so. How many? I think so. Um, I think two. No, 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 no? More, 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 more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know if my womb can handle it. Well, you know, you can always uh, farm them out a little okay, bit. Yeah. Maybe. Look, uh, we're out of time. Already, so, no. uh, what do you fancy? Uh, awkward pause, mm. uh, big cash prize, true or not true, uh, yeah. touch with a glittery ball, or do you want to meet some Australians? Oh, what is the meet some Australians? I don't know, I just said it right there. I don't know. I, I didn't think it through. I haven't in any way thought, how the hell am I going to make this work? I just oh. said it and then instantly regretted it. Um. What do you think? Big cash prize? Big cash prize. Yeah, all right. Big cash prize. What time is it, Shadows David? Time for the big cash prize. Prize. All right. All right. I'm nervous. All right. Now, there's two ways you can win the big cash prize. You can either answer the question or you can guess what's in my box. Oh, what does that entail? Well, what happens is there's a box in my head. There's something in it. I don't know what it is. Only Jeff Peterson knows what it is. And if you can guess what it is, you win 50 bucks. And if you can't, you have to disrobe. (laughs) You know what? I'm going to guess what's in your box. Okay. Here we go. God, I'm, nervous. I'm imagining a box. Okay. Oh, gosh. Guess now? No, no, no. I'm just, I, I haven't imagined what's inside oh, of it. Oh, okay. Just, okay. I, I get stuck in the box for a while. <laughs> All right. Uh, right, something's in the box. Jeff knows what it is. Go ahead. Oh, goodness. Um, hair lipped penis trout. <laughs> Jeff, is she correct? I love this woman. <laughs> that is correct. It is! It is! It is! It is! It is! Melissa Rush, everybody! Melissa Rush. Great! Thank I mean, you. great. Let me just get the thing oh. for you. I, I, I know that presents. We, yeah. There you are. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We Thank keep you. it, of course, in case Tom Cruise is ever on. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Will he be mad that I'm taking his stool? Why would you start I'm, with that? I'm sorry. You look fantastic. That's May I say, there's a little bit of vavoom kind oh. of. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Are you going out somewhere later or something? This is all for you. All for you. It would never fit me. Oh. I have another one in your size. Then I am coming out with you. We're going out. We're going out. How have you been? I haven't seen you for a while. Your shoes look nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. They're very shiny. They are very shiny. I got a buff backstage. Uh, And how about your shoes? How's it been? What have you been up to? What's going on? Good. Things are good. Yeah, the Big Bang Theory, that's still on, isn't it? It is. We wrapped the season last night. Wait, wait. Were you drinking in that clip? I was drinking. But are you allowed to do that on TV? Don't people watch it and then get ideas? They, They might. They might. They give us juice. It's very concentrated juice. So there are times from like that sugar high that I kind of feel drunk. Mm-hmm. You never drank with me then, because <laughs> there's a lot of sugar in this whiskey. I'm getting a little drunk. <laughs> no, um, the uh, but I just mean the whole idea of drinking on TV. Do, aren't there like huge amounts of uh, people are like, oh no? Oh, I wonder if people are at home just thinking like, oh, the cast of The Big Bang Theory is drinking. I'll go to the old refrigerator and have a beer. 
or is it more like I'm going to go on a bender and have a drink? Well, that's what I would say. Okay. Yeah. But that's it. But you're uh, notoriously a big drinker, aren't you? Oh, I'm the worst. Yeah, yeah, I'm I've heard that. Trouble. Oh no, I'm you are not. so drunk right now. No, you're not. You're not a drinker. I have I no idea what's going on. <laughs> What about, are you a goy outy person? Do you go to clubs and, and do that? <laughs> or whatever people do now? Do they do that at clubs? I don't know. I've never been to one. See, here's the thing. When I see people waiting online for a club, I get so angry. Like, I'm in my car coming out of the movie theater in my sweatpants, usually with a stain on my shirt. And then the people are waiting in line in, like, tiny dresses and, like, big heeled in the cold outside. I know. The women, too. I know. I... <laughs> And I'm like, I, that doesn't look fun Well, they're to me. going out to, you know, to have, you know, dancey, sexy fun. You know, that is true. At the dancey, want... sexy club. Well, do you, a... do you want, do, have you ever been to a dancey, sexy club? I, I like a dance party. Right. Like a contained, like a, not a club dance party. But we had our rap party the other night at right. the Theory, and we had a good, good time dancing. I'll bet there's some serious party animals over there. We, we know how to, I have bruises. Huh? I'm covered in bruises. Really? From doing what? Playing Twister? <laughs> Just dancing. Somehow I bruise. What kind of, were dancing. you slam dancing? What the hell were you doing over there? I must have just very bruisable skin. So if, you, if you're now finished for the summer, yes. right? Yes. Are you going to go on vacation? I think I'm... Where should I go? I don't have anything planned yet. Could you plan my... Vac Craig's choice. All right, then. Uh, let's... All right, you've come into my store and I'm a vacation plan. Okay. All right. Okay. Hello, sir. This is a lovely store you have. Thanks. I'm a vacation planner. Now, <laughs> do you need a vacation plan? I do need a vacation plan. I see. What's your budget? Mm, $25. I see. And what kind of thing do you like on a vacation? Do you like rain and clouds and misery? Or do you like sunshine and beaches and stuff? I like sunshine, beaches, and misery. All right. So you take... Take your 25 bucks and go down to uh, Santa Monica Pier, you'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Done. Done. So, no, seriously, you must take a vacation. It's, good. it's important that you recharge. What do you like to do? Do you like to ski? Do you like to high jump? Do you like high jump? Yeah. <laughs> That's the new thing everybody... What is a high jump? Well, you know, you, it's in the Olympics. You know, people oh. run up to a jump and go over it. I, I will do a high jump. Where does one go do that on vacation? Um, Highlands? High, the Highlands? The Highlands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you jumping? Well, but what, about, are you, what about Europe? Have you, have you done Europe? I yet? have done Europe. I do. Here's the thing. The last time I took a European vacation, yes. I made a big mistake where I had planned it so, I mean, down to the restaurants we were going to go to. I had a food itinerary. I show up at the airport, and my passport was expired. Ah. And it was my honeymoon. Oh, 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 oh. oh God. What the hell's wrong with you, judgy <laughs> bastards? You think she doesn't feel bad enough without you going, oh, oh. You must have really, are you still married to this guy? No, we got divorced. Oh, honey. man. No, we were still married. All right. But it was terrible, and I ended up, having to like reschedule everything, fly to New York, my parents are in Jersey, and I spent the two, the first two nights of my honeymoon on my parents' fold-out couch in Jersey. It's, it's kind of hot. It was hot. Yeah. It was weird. My mother, like, to, she, cause she felt so bad, would like just dim the lights at night. Oh. She'd be like, good night. Hope you're having a wonderful honeymoon. Uh, no, you gotta go with the flow. Oh, I am so not go with the flow. Really? I'm the worst. I like, I like a schedule. I like to know what restaurant. Oh, the first time I went there to tear up after college, I had a Rick Steves, you know, Rick Steves, the travel guy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I would follow his his tips, and I went into a restaurant, and I told the, the major fee that I was friends with Rick Steves from the States. <laughs> and I got treated like royalty. No way. It was fantastic. Do that, everybody. Everybody, everybody do that. It was so great. They Let's do that. Car. It's fantastic. I'm going to do that when I I'm go home. Like, oh, Craig, get back. Hey, hey. <laughs> yes, and now I'm a friend of Rick Steves from the state. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Let us welcome you with a warmness we usually only keep for American visitors. <laughs> <sighs> We're out of time. Oh, okay. Wow, you went straight to awkward pause without me even asking. <laughs> Is that what you would like? Would you like an awkward pause or would I, you like something else? Would you like a, an itinerary? 
I would love a night journey. All right, first we're going to do awkward pause, okay. then, we're, then we're going to throw frisbees at the horse, and Wait. then you're going to leave. Okay, great. Is that good with everyone? Yeah. You see, I make an itinerary, but I like to know that everyone's okay with it. I don't want to force my agenda. Can she say that? Can she say force her agenda? Because it was something earlier on she said she actually can't say. It was so awesome. <laughs> Frisbee's at the horse then? Oh, yeah. Sure. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, it's a rush, everybody. It's a rush. Yeah. Oh. 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 Melissa Rush, everybody. Very nice. Hang on, I'll get oh. the uh, hold on. Here it is. Ah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. The Tom Cruise, if he's ever on the <laughs> show. Thank you. It's such a nice amenity. Well, you know, it legally really in California, if you have a talk show, you have to have that really? in case Tom Cruise is on. That's so interesting. Mm. I just need to go where Tom Cruise goes, so I get. A little step stool. It's so nice. Yes, baby. I like your shoes. Thank too. you. We Very... kind of match. I little oh, bit. Look, it's your tie. Hi, look, look at the tie, blue. Uh oh. Did I just show my? Oh hey. Oh. Hey, look. Somebody's going to the prom with a creepy date. <laughs> nice. Am I the creepy date? No, I'm the creepy you're date. The cre no, oh. you're the beautiful. Well, you're thanks. the beautiful raunchy sex goddess, oh. and I'm the uh, and I'm the creepy guy who lives yeah. at the end of the street. The uh, <laughs> The Boo Radley of late night comedians. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea very much I, indeed. Did you ever read uh, To Kill a Mockingbird? I did. A I book, did. I did a book report on that in high school. Or maybe it was middle school. I don't know. I, I think it may have been too. middle school. I have a, I have a, I don't know. one of my sons remedial. in middle school and, and he's just finished it. Really? Did he like it? Yes, he did. Thank goodness. Because it wasn't a video game. Uh, uh, are you a video game person? Do you like it? I think I'm not, and then I think, well, wait, there's Angry Birds, uh, okay. and, and there's uh, Mario Kart 8. Uh, yeah. I was a big Tetris addict back in the day. Nice. Like, I would you must know how to candy. stack things. I... You call me. I'm a stacker. Mm, yes, a you stacker. are. Yes, you are. They call my, my middle name is Stacker. It's Melissa Stacker Roush. <laughs> is that real? Yeah. It's no, it's not real. It's not no. Real. It's not real. No, that would be. It would good. be a good name, though, right? Stack around. Stack around. Yeah. That's my new name, guys. Yeah, yeah. Stack around. Oh, I like it. It's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right the next time. Are you, you a video game person, then? Do you, apart from Tetris, Tetris doesn't really Tetris count. Tetris is it, and then I did like the Super Mario Brothers. Like I was like old school back in the day, Nintendo. Yeah. And then like after the Tetris addiction, I was like, I gotta call it quick. Yeah, no, I had to do that with Angry Birds. You I was did. like, that's enough of that. And did you try that Candy Crush one? No, I Don't couldn't. do it. Interesting. My mom was addicted to it big time. Like, yeah. she came to visit, and we went on, like, a girls' weekend. I took her to, like, this really nice, like, spa retreat. And at night, under the covers in her bed, I saw the sheets glowing. <laughs> I was like, what is happening under there? And she's like, nothing, it's fine. And it was her, like, playing Candy Crush at all hours of the night. <laughs> You might want to report that. I, uh, right. No, the thing I was weird about it, though, is you play it for a little bit, and then this little thing comes out and goes, you're out of things, do you want to give me another $5? Oh. And then it, it take, keeps taking little bits of money off you all the time. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, it's like the first one's free, and then, hey. Oh, that's how they get you. Yeah, that is how you get you. So did you ever have a, a Class A drug problem? I didn't. I didn't. I was. I'm such a like rules follower. So the right. fact that I was told at a young age like don't do that. Good, 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 good parenting. 
Yeah. Sadly fell apart when the Candy Crush thing came in, but before <laughs> sure. that. Before that. Very they were good. Okay. What about a pet? Did you ever have a pet? I had a dog <laughs> that I was addicted to, or just in general. Well, I think I think you, you kind of get addicted to you dogs, do. you know. I had yeah, I had a dog. My dog Lucky. We, I had my entire life. Yes. We, we, he was a stray. We found him, and he lived for 19 years. That is lucky. It was a long time. Yeah. And yeah. he um, he ended up um, getting a um, a form of cancer that blew his um, testicles up. And when we put him down, this when is you like say it's blew them, no, wait, wait, wait. It didn't like blow them up. Like they didn't explode. Right. That's what I needed to get. Yeah. Like, right. Right. But like they they got enlarged, and when we. We had to put him to sleep eventually. It's terribly it was one sad. of the saddest things. It's awful. Of my life. I've had to do that. It was awful. Break your heart. It was dogs. horrible. It's terrible. And my whole family was in there. My now husband at the time, we were dating. He was there. Did he propose at that? Because that wouldn't be good. It, yeah. it would have been weird. No, no, no. Not a good time no. to propose. I would have said yes because I was emotionally broken. Sure, yeah. But we were all just sobbing. And my mother, the last words that my dog heard was, No more big balls, Lucky. <laughs> That was that was the last thing that my dog heard before he went to. You know, I have to horrible, say. Horrible, horrible. But, but you know, if you think about it, you know, and yes, of course, it's terribly sad. But in yeah. other terms, you know, the dog lived to be 19 years old. He yes. was a stray, and you, mm -hmm. you and you rescued him from that, and and he uh, had large testicles, and <laughs> that didn't explode. That didn't explode, and after a long and happy life, yeah. uh, he was complimented on his <laughs> massive testicles, and off he went. That's true. I have to say, if <laughs> I if I get that. That is a, that's a nice way to go. Yeah, you know, I mean, you can't ask for better than that, really. That's about it. That's true. So you didn't get another dog there? You don't have a dog now? I don't, no. I got three. Do you want one? Yeah, I'd love one. You can have the Jack Russell. Oh, I like a Jack Russell. Why oh, Why do you want to give that they're one? They're impossible. Really? Yeah, oh, they're just impossible. They're, they're hooligans. Really? Yes. Yeah, they, they, they won't oh, behave at all. I have a German Shepherd, very orderly, oh, that's what up and down, me. marches up and down, salutes. <laughs> And, Very smart. And a French bulldog kind of does what the German bulldog tells it to do. And <laughs> but the but the Jack Russell. Oh no! No. How old? Uh, you can't really have it. No. Okay. Like you were kind of seriously. I was. Yeah. Well, you, I was gonna ask you how big the dog was. Go get a rescue dog. Just All right. <laughs> rescue another do dog. It. You're right. I feel like my heart has finally healed. How long ago was this? It was years ago. It should have. I just. It takes me a while. Takes me a while, but I'm um, I'm gonna come around, get a dog. No, don't come around to my house because you <laughs> you can't get that dog. Uh, we'll talk about it. I feel like it's negotiable. Uh, no. 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 no, no. <laughs> not it's not really bit? my dog, you know. Oh, it's, it's not. It's, well, I have children. Oh right. Okay. Um, you can have one I'll of those. I'll talk to them. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, you can't. You None can't have them. them I either. can't have anything. I think the older one might actually go of his own accord, but they. Uh, <laughs> No, I, that's it. We're out of time. Anyway. Oh, okay. Stop trying to get me to give you free stuff. All right. All right. All right. You All can right. have. What can I can have? Have a chocolate dollar. Okay. I'll take. Can I have two? <laughs> Come on, bro. All right. All right. Give it to All stack. right. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's make a, a PSA. Okay. Right for um, people who are coming to Hollywood and they're going to learn how to negotiate with producers and directors. Okay. In this, uh, I will be the producer director and Melissa will play the part of the successful actress. Okay. Hello. You can have a chocolate dollar. Oh, that's very nice of you, but I would really like one more, please. <laughs> I see. Look, we could just do this. Oh, how lovely. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I came to Hollywood. <laughs> well, arrived, everyone. Well, right. So, Mr. Ferguson, is it? <laughs> Craig, yes. Now, I understand that you're interested in applying for the position of our friend. That would be great. I I'm very lonely. <laughs> I don't see why we need a new... Relax, there can be two foreign ones. Oh, I didn't know that. Go on. So, Craig, what do you do for a living? Wait, excuse me, I have the clipboard. I'll ask the questions. So, Craig, what do you do for a living? 
I host the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. I see. And what time is that on? 12.37 a.m. Given that AM stands for anti-Meridian, wouldn't it more logically be called the Early Early Show with Craig Ferguson? I don't know. The answer is yes. Minus eight points. I didn't know there was going to be a test. And you're really not going to like the physical. Now, please answer the following questions to the best of your ability. The first category is Star Wars. In the briefing, before the Death Star battle, Luke Skywalker is seated next to whom? Hang on, I think I know this. It's a trick question. You would think it would be Beggs, his childhood friend from Tatooine, but I'm going to go with Wedge. Correct. Five points. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Wedge. <laughs> that accent's more charming than mine. I don't like him. <laughs> Next question. For five points apiece, you have 20 seconds to name all the stretchy superheroes. Go. Uh, Plastic Man, Mr. Fantastic, uh, Elastigirl, uh, Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, Stretch Armstrong is a toy, not a superhero. Yeah, but they are making a Stretch Armstrong movie. And Slinky Dog was in Toy Story. I think you see the absurdity of your argument. Okay, time's up. I'm sorry, Mr. Ferguson. I think we're done here. No, no, no you, you didn't ask me a single Doctor Who question. I really don't think that'll be necessary. Good day, Mr. Ferguson. Doctor Who's home planet is Gallifrey. I said good day. <laughs> Doctor Who found the TARDIS in a scrap yard. Trust me, let it go. This is not a test you want to pass. Fine. I'll see you guys in a few minutes on the show. Does that mean I'll see us on the show? It was a humorous conceit predicated on a violation of the fourth wall, and I did not care for it. We are well rid of him. Now what do we do? Cue the Late Late Show opening title montage. I just told you I do not care for that.